John Rambo. One man who's been pushed too far. What makes Strip Off special is that they see something that they like and they take it and make it their own. And it's like a whole new world. So there are so many Rambo ripoffs, and most of them are just a shirtless guy with a machine gun blowing up huts in the jungle. Leave anything for us? Just bodies. But then you get to the ones that are not that, and that's where the gold is. <laughs> Looking at Turkish ripoffs and Turkish cinema, they're probably the most prolific of any country in terms of churning them out. So you basically had three screenwriters pumping out 300 scripts a year, making movies like Turkish James Bond, Turkish Exorcist, <laughs> Turkish Enter the Dragon, Turkish E.T., Turkish Laurel and Hardy. Turkish Star Wars. And Turkish First Blood. So Turkish First Blood stars Kunit Arkin. Basically, he's like Turkey's Charles Bronson, Chuck Norris, Fly Stallone, all wrapped into one. And it's kind of like towards the end of the string of Kunit Arkin ripoff movies. Turkish First Blood to me is actually a very sincere and earnest attempt at recreating First Blood for Turkish audiences. So you do have a lot of the same scenes that are exact, but you also have a little bit of change thrown in, which they often do. <laughs> and the thing that I really like about a lot of the Turkish ones is that they up the ante in terms of violence and outrageousness. So there's scenes in First Blood where he sets up spikes to nail guys in the jungle. But in this one, they take it like 10 steps further where Kunin Arkin sets up not just one spike trap in the jungle, but he'll set up like 10 in a row. And then with like this quick succession of cuts, you get all these scenes of like these spikes going through guys. And it just keeps happening. It's just overwhelming and so joyful. Also, the great thing about that movie is that the beginning of the movie opens up and there are zombies in it. I'm really excited about the new Rambo movie, but I'm betting there's not zombies in it, so I probably won't like it as much as I should. <laughs> so Turkish Rambo kind of falls into the same category of not quite as crowd-pleasing as Turkish First Bloods, but just the idea that you are watching something called Turkish Rambo is kind of enough to get you through it. And so I kind of like the outrageousness of that movie, and that the fact that they are really trying to one-up Sylvester Stallone and the American version of Rambo. The original Turkish version in the Turkish language that's available on like VHS bootlegs, it looks so otherworldly because, I don't know, it's, it's like you're looking at it through like four generations of VHS crust and there's all these like dropouts and every time there's a dropout in the tape, the colors get all psychedelic. Turkish Rambo was never meant to be this like trippy experience, but it kind of is when you watch it in that format, and I think that's what kind of makes the movie even better in a way. So it becomes kind of like a head movie, even though it was never supposed to be that. I'm Charlie, and I'm gonna hunt you down. Anytime, pal. You can find me around here. The name is Rambo. Uh, the Intruder is the best of the best. If you want the best Rambo ripoff movie, you have to see The Intruder. It stars a guy named Peter O'Brien, who is a uh, action star in Indonesia. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you! And I think he is most notable just because he played a character in The Intruder named Rambo. And that's not R-A-M-B-O, that is R-A-M-B-U. What about this Rambo you mentioned? And so he's out for revenge against these guys and they keep going like, God damn it, Rambo! That goddamn intruder Rambo got to my safe. I'm gonna make that son of a bitch sorry he ever heard my name. Leave it to the law, Rambo. My goodness, so this is the famous Rambo. This guy sounds like a real crime fighter. It's another moment where you're like, how did this happen? Obviously, they didn't want to get sued, so they just changed one letter in Rambo's name, but it works so well. Don't do anything, Rambo. Let the law handle it. Yes, Rambo. Be careful. That was the big Peter O'Brien movie. He also made a movie called The Stabilizer, which is basically like almost a sequel to The Intruder, but he's got a different name. But I just like to call them all Rambo movies because he's the same character throughout. This super ripped, intense guy. And he's just screaming at people and he's swearing constantly. <laughs> 
Fuck you. He's almost better than Sylvester Stallone, in my opinion, just because of his intensity. <laughs> There's no gimmicks and no qualms about who he is or what he wants to be. He's just in it, um, and he's great. So I highly recommend The Intruder. That would be number one out of all the Rambo ripoffs.